In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can set up your own Octane Cinema 4D layout, which is going to make using the render engine much more intuitive. This is all personal preference, but after this lesson, you will understand how to create your own working layout. First, I'm going to go here on the top right corner and switch the new layouts and choose standard here. So we get the old layout, which I'm more used to. I'm going to come up here to the Octane drop down menu and choose the live viewer window, and I'm going to hit the Octane button to launch the render. So this is our Octane Live Viewer. And then I'll take these little three dashes and then just drag them down here. Now if I drag this up, we can start to see my Live Viewer. Let's go over here to our Octane settings and then we'll dock this down with these tabs as well. I'm gonna change the Octane settings. So let's change this from Direct Lighting to Path Tracing, which is better because it's a much more realistic and takes into account global illumination. Now by default, 16,000 samples is way too high. So let's just change this to something like 200 and then we'll take the GI clamp down to 1. So the more samples you have, the better the quality will be, but it will drastically increase your render time. The GI clamp is going to clamp how much indirect lightning is bouncing around the scene. Now for the materials panel. So let's grab these dashes again and move it over here. These tabs are showing up on the right. So if you right click, you can go down here to tabs and then select top. We can do the same up here. Right click, tabs, then top. Now the attributes window, let's put up here. So I actually like to create a whole separate panel for this. So I'll take it and drag it up here until we get this line. This coordinate panel, I like to have it down the objects panel. Now another important panel in Octane is the node view. So if we come over here to materials, we can open up the node editor. Drag the dashes and put it next to the materials panel. We can take the Layers panel and put it next to the Attributes panel. I want to remove this light menu because these are C4D lights and we don't need them. If you go to Window, Customization, Customize Palettes. You can now double click when you've got Customize Palettes open. It'll just remove that menu item. You can also add buttons that you want here. I also like to have the list of effectors so I can come over to MoGraph here and choose Effector. And then if I click here I can undock this palette. Next, I can right-click and come down to Fold Palette. And then I can right-click again and choose Icon Size, Large Icons. And finally, right-click one more time and say Show and then Untick Text. Now, if we come back to Window and then Customize Palettes, I can dock this back into the interface and I'll put it right next to the cloner. Now I want to create a palette with the Octane items that we will use frequently. We just need to type in Octane, and at this point we can create a new palette. So here we go. And let's just drag in the Octane camera, the daylight, the area light, the targeted area light. Octane scatter, the fog volume, and the VDB volume. And then we want the diffuse material and the glossy material, the metallic material, mixed material, the specular material, and the universal material. We can type environment. We'll get the texture environment here and the HDRI environment, which are important. And now what we can do is we can just come over here and drop this down until we get this line that goes all the way across. The last thing I'd like to do is dock a couple more windows here. So if we jump over to the render settings, we can dock that. And another one if we come down to window, we can find the picture viewer. Let's dock that here. So now that we've got our layout set up, all we have to do is come up to window and then customization and save layout as. Now we'll just call this horizontal and we're done. If you want this layout directly at the opening of Cinema, we have to go to Window, Customization, and save it as our startup layout. We can make a vertical version as well. So take these dashes again and move the panel over here, this one as well. Come up to Window, Customization, and Save Layout. We will call it Vertical. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you have learned something today and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. See you on the next video.